Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In one of our previous video, we discussed about fluid power. The precise control needed for the working of various machines can be obtained by fluid power systems. A fluid power system has various components which help in power transmission. As discussed in our previous video, liquids and gases are fluids. Thus, fluid power systems are also classified according to the fluid used. A hydraulic system uses liquids like oil. To store the hydraulic oil, a reservoir or a tank is used. The hydraulic oil to the system is supplied from the tank and dumped back in it. The movement of oil through the system is achieved by using a pump. The pump forces the fluid through the system, thus making the components work. A pump usually just moves the fluid and cannot control the flow in the circuit. A valve is used to control the flow of hydraulic liquid in the circuit. Valves can be of various types. A directional valve controls the direction of the fluid, while a flow control valve regulates the flow in the hydraulic circuit. A pressure relief valve is used to maintain the required pressure in the system. But how is this pressure converted into mechanical movement? Well, that's what actuators are used for. An actuator converts the pressure into mechanical force or torque depending on the requirement. A linear actuator, such as a hydraulic cylinder, provides linear motion, while a hydraulic motor is used to provide rotary motion. All these individual components are connected with pipings. These pipes carry the oil around the circuit. A hydraulic power system can have multiple components depending on the requirement. Thus, the size of a hydraulic power system varies depending on the complexity of the circuit. Now, moving on to the pneumatic system, which essentially uses similar components to move compressed air in the system. In a pneumatic system, an electric motor is used to drive a compressor. The atmospheric air is then filtered and compressed by the compressor. This compressed air is then stored in an air tank. Similar to a hydraulic system, a pneumatic system also uses valves to control the pressure, flow or direction of compressed air. But here pneumatic actuators are used to obtain mechanical movement. As we saw, in a hydraulic system, the working fluid or oil is restored into the reservoir after working. Since compressed air is used in a pneumatic system, it can be exhausted back into the atmosphere without any concern. Pneumatic systems such as a pneumatic wrench or pneumatic drill can perform work much faster due to increased precision. Well, that's all for this video guys. Visit our channel for more interesting content. And until the next time, bye.